everyone, I'm so glad you're here at Virtual Quest Kids. I hope you're as excited as I am to start the new month of celebrating God together, discovering how he works in our lives. Each one of us is a custom creation. You see, God made us. He gave each of us our own personality, like our dislikes and our likes, everything that makes us who we are. He has a good plan for each and every one of us. As we grow every day, we'll find out more and more about God's purpose for our lives. That's what individuality is all about. Individuality is discovering who you're meant to be so you can make a difference. Now, let's sing and worship God together. Hi everyone, I'm so glad to see all of you. Today, we'll look at the very first book of the Bible, Genesis. 
In Genesis, we can read about how God created the world. In the beginning, God took nothing and made everything. In Genesis 1 verse 3, we can see that God created the world. He said, first, let there be light. And there was a light. God created the oceans. God created the land, like mountains. God created the sun, moon, and stars. God created all the animals, the fish and the birds, elephants and everything else. Afterwards, God looked at everything and he saw that it was good. But God was saving the best creation for last. After God had made everything else, God made people, Adam and Eve. As we read in the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 27, it says, God created human beings in his own image and his likeness. He created them to be like himself. He created them as male and female. Now, let's check out our Bible story video. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verses 26 through 28. In the beginning, God took nothing and made everything. From darkness, God called out light. God poured out waters and stretched the sky far overhead like an unpainted canvas. He shaped dry land and canyons and great mountain ranges, and then decked them out with trees and vines and plants of every kind. God spun the moon and sun and stars and planets out into space. And then he filled the oceans with fish and the sky with birds. God thought up an amazing variety of animals to crawl and hop and race over the earth. All of this was incredible, unbelievable, the most artistic show of power ever. God made complex atoms and cells smaller than the eye can see, all the way up to vast spaces stretching across the universe farther than we can imagine. And yet, all of this was just a warm-up to God's most spectacular creation, people. People. It's true. We're made of the same atoms and cells and elements as rocks and plants and animals. But unlike anything else in God's creation, we are made in God's image. Then God said, Let us make human beings so that they are like us. Let them rule over the fish in the seas and the birds in the sky. Let them rule over the livestock and all the wild animals and let them rule over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created human beings in his own likeness. He created them to be like himself. He created them as male and female. You are made in God's image. Now that does not mean God shares your eye color or your freckles or even your quirky smile. But it does mean that you were designed for God to shine through you. You were made to show the world God's love, God's grace and mercy, God's joy, God's peace, God's kindness, God's wisdom. You and every person you'll ever meet are of infinite value because you're made in the image of God. And here's what's even more amazing. God didn't design us to turn into a bunch of little robots who look and act the same when we follow him. Instead, the more time you spend with God, asking him to transform your thoughts and words and choices, the more you become uniquely you. As you follow Jesus and reflect God's light more clearly, you'll be able to do the things that God has designed for you and no one else. So next time you look in the mirror, Remember, you're looking at the image of God. 
and no one in this world can reflect him just the way you do. The next time you look in the mirror, remember you're looking at the image of God. There's no one else in this world who can reflect God just the way you do. Bottom line is you were made in God's image. Turn to your neighbor or your mom, your dad, and tell them that you were made in God's image. Ready? You were made in God's image. That's right. You can always tell that to yourself too if you need a reminder. I know sometimes I do. Let's pray and thank God for making us so unique and special. God, you are amazing. You made this world and everything we can see. You made people in your image. Thank you for giving each of us individuality so we can show who you are in our own unique way. Please help us discover how you made us so that we can make a difference in the world around us. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name, amen. Have a wonderful week, guys.